Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome to another video. Every week I'll be dropping a new video as I promised. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay positive and moving forward with this. If you're new to the channel, I thank you. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. And while you're here, just mm, give an uppercut to that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can be notified for new videos that I will be dropping on a weekly basis. Um, today, I'm gonna talk to you about how I, me, how I make coffee, right? Everyone knows that I'm a big coffee lover. Anyone who's, who's been following me, you know what that's about. So let's get into that. Let's go upstairs so I can show you what I use and how I make my nice cup of coffee every single morning. This is where a lot of the magic happens. So when I'm making a cup of coffee, right? Just, just before I go into this process, right? You ever had a meal that you just pull out the freezer, right? Like these, I don't know, freezer foods. You just put it in the microwave, take it out, you eat it. It's like, all right, it's okay. But then now you get a home cooked meal some rice and beans, some meat, some all this stuff, all seasoned and all that good stuff you already know. That is what this is about, right? That's what this, that's what coffee, this process right here is about. It's not a Minute Maid or microwave type of meal. It's not something that you just put in a, in a coffee machine, bro. And I listen, nothing against those because I also have one right here, just really quick espresso machine put some cups and boom if you're on the go and on the run but if you want a good cup of coffee you want a good tasting heavenly cup of coffee you go this process right here so I'll go from left to right and show you the piece of technology that I'm using when it comes to making my cup of coffee and the way I like to make up my cup of coffee. There's a lot of different ways you can make a cup of coffee. Some people like it light, some people like it strong. Some people have, you know, go by the golden ratios of, of, of water to coffee ratios and stuff like that. There is golden ratios. There, there is, you know, specific ratios that you can start off with and then you start tweaking them at your own, you know, liking. Um, but right here, I got these new, fellow canisters, right? They're glass canisters, but the cool thing about them is that they actually, once you put the coffee beans in here to store them, you just give it a little twist like this. It takes out all the air. And then when you're ready to use them, you just press this button right on the top. Let all it out. Look at that. So good, but anyways, you just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. After it's done, you put it away. I also have a kettle. This is a simple kettle. You can go, you can buy this, this simple kettle. You know, mostly all this stuff, I, I got it at Target, except for my, my coffee maker, which is a Chemex. We'll get into that. Um, well, the kettle I got is an all blacked out one from Bodum. Um, it's a simple kettle. I don't have any knobs here to change the, the temperatures. Maybe I'll get one of those um, and use that. But this heats up to a 205, 208 degrees, right, of the water. Um, I use the Chemex right here. This is my coffee maker. Um, this is like a special glass, like I don't want to get into details of how this is built or how it's made and stuff like that. It just freaking works and it tastes so good when you make a cup of coffee, a pour over coffee with this piece of glass that's in my hand right now. It's a Chemex. Um, I can have all the stuff I have here. I'm going to have information on the description of this video, right? So I use this Chemex 
to make my coffee, right? I use this grinder, Mr. Coffee. I just got it. I literally spent like 30, 40 bucks. Um, it could go do, it could grind beans, um, 12 cups. It has the different um, uh, grinding levels from coarse to medium to fine and everything in between. You can just adjust it to your liking. I usually keep it between medium and fine when I'm doing my pour overs. I also have the Bodum frother if you want to get fancy and do some cappuccinos. This one is also at Target, really simple. Pour milk into here, turn it on, and you're good to go. Then I got the simple a coffee machine here, you just want to put the K-cups, boom, bingo, put it in there, all right? So, with that being said, the coffee that I use mostly, right, is Cafe Real. It's a Colombian coffee. Um, right now, currently, I'm also using um, this coffee called Alto Grande. It's a Puerto Rican, it's a premium Puerto Rican coffee, and it's freaking really good. Um, it's amazing. I'll give you some links to that, too. This one, by the way, also, I got this from Oklahoma. It's called Burandi. It's a, it's a um, natural process uh, coffee. Um, tastes really good. It's a different taste. It has little notes of fruit and cocoa and all that other good stuff. So I like to change it up a bit here and there. Um, like I said, Cafe Real is a Colombian coffee, local from Connecticut, Bristol, Connecticut, to be exact. Um, I had the honor to travel with the owner to Colombia, check out his farms and all that stuff because he imports and exports his own beans and they are processed and brewed right here in Bristol, Connecticut. This coffee is amazing. His shop is freaking dope. Um, you don't wanna not go there, okay? So if you're in Connecticut, I will suggest you take a visit to Cafe Real. I'm also gonna have some links in there. I got an affiliate link with, with him. Um, so anytime you buy coffee with Cafe Real, I get a percentage. Um, we're just helping each other out. Um, so here we go, right? So when I'm gonna make my cup of coffee, I heat up the water, I grind the beans, right? So before anything, you always wanna preheat your Chemex, if that's what you're using, a Chemex. You wanna preheat your Chemex so we're gonna take the water, open this up, preheat. So we'll just turn this on. We'll get this going, the light is going. Make sure <clears throat> I get my filters out. My filters are also Chemex. I'm using these for now because I couldn't find the, the white filters. These are um, uh, non-bleached, right? Some people like them, some people don't. I don't, I don't like these because sometimes you get like that that paper taste but surprisingly chemex chemex does a really good job um with their filters and you don't taste it as much or you you hardly even taste it i just got used to the white ones so the white ones are are really good but it does make a difference um so i go ahead right take my filter Right, put it into a cone almost, drop it in here, right? Put that to the side right there, make sure that filters, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first heat up my Chemex so it's nice and warm and I'm ready, ready for when I put the coffee grinds in there, all that other good stuff. Get the water ready. So what I'm gonna do is take my burr grinder, that's why I like this burr grinder because you can detach it, right? And without like moving the whole entire system out. But it's very important that if you want to get the same tasting coffee every single time you use a scale. I got this scale from um, Etexity on Amazon. It was really cheap too, but um, has a lead light. It does ounces, milliliters, grams, all that, all that good stuff. Let's start off with this Puerto Rican coffee, right? So what I do for me, because I not only drink a coffee for myself, but I make a cup of coffee for my dad, and sometimes I will have a second coffee, or if my wife wants to have a cup of coffee, it's already um, pretty much already set. So what I do is I weigh it, right? 45 grams of coffee beans, 
to 480, sometimes 470 milliliters of water, right? That's what I use if I wanna do at least three cups, two to two and a half, maybe three cups, depending on how much, you know, if it's an eight ounce cups, if it's a six ounce cups, whatever. Um, but that's what I do, right? So I grab this, put it in here, right? Lock it up. I like to just clean the filter, right? So I throw hot water over it. It not only cleans the filter, but it also preheats the Chemex. Even though the kettle itself is gonna heat up the water, it's actually important to preheat your Chemex so like that it's already ready nice and warm and then it, you know, it, it'll stay hot longer. Um, so I just give it a little shake. Let the beans grind, take the water out. Now we're gonna do the 480 milliliters of water, right? So let's go in here. All right, 484, that's fine, that's okay. Get the 484, let's go heat this up. Now, while this is heating up, let's tear this again, right? And put it on zero and ready for the coffee to get poured over. I know it's a process. You're probably thinking to yourself like, damn, just for a cup of coffee? But once you get the hang of it, once you know what you're doing, I'm just, it, it might seem longer because I'm trying to educate you a little bit as far as how I do it, the things that I use and, and whatnot. Um, but the coffee's heating up now for the last phase so I can start doing the actual coffee. But coffee is so important, at least to me, because when I started drinking coffee and you know having conversations with people, especially at work in New York City, like you wanna have a meeting, you go, you do it over a cup of coffee. You wanna, you know, chat with somebody about something interesting, you do it over a cup of coffee. So a cup of coffee has been like an opportunity for me to engage with people and just have cool, awesome discussions with people. Um, it's been like a blessing at the same time because I've been able to also, you know, meet new people over a cup of coffee, learn about new people over a cup of coffee, be blessed, hear people's testimonies. And it's been amazing because even, I know it may sound like crazy, but but even through a cup of coffee for me, God has been in the midst of it, right? We've been having an awesome conversation with somebody. We start talking about God and, and you know, they start opening up, the person starts opening up, they start, you know, talking about their life. We're literally just enjoying this nice cup of coffee, but it's cool because you just sit down and you just relax and chill. It's not something that you drink like like juice or anything like that. You know, it's 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 a moment where you just sit down, you can reflect sometimes and get that opportunity to just, you know, uh, uh, converse with people and it opens up some cool opportunities. That's why I love it. Um, and that's why I got more and more and more involved with coffee. And that's how I actually got to meet the owner of Café Real. It was through a cup of coffee, right? It all happened through a cup of coffee and now we've been doing a lot of cool things together. Um, He's been promoting, you know, my channel and the things that I do, and I've been promoting what he does, which is a good cup of coffee. Not only is he my friend, but you gotta go check him out. And I thought I'd share this with you guys in the video because maybe you wanna make a cup of coffee or you just wanna, you know, get the right coffee every single time. So this is what I use, and this is how you can get your coffee to taste the same every single time. Before you put the coffee in here tear it up throw it in here make sure it matches sometimes it could be off by a little bit it's okay that's fine right this is this is your cup of coffee i just hit it up a little bit make sure i'm getting everything every single bean go ahead and shake it up 45 45 on the dot i'm gonna tear this up Tearing is putting it back to zero, just, just so you know, right? Put the um, put it on millimeters because I'm about to pour the water in round. There's these different phases when you're doing the pour over, but the most important phase is the first pour, right? The first pour for what I'm doing right now, some people do 50 millimeters of water first, and then they go on to their second pour. Um, I've been 
so far doing it around 70, 75 millimeters because I have more coffee in here. Let it go in really nice. I do it in a circular motion, right? Once I start seeing the bubbles, it's called the blooming phase, right? Where it's just the gases of the coffee is just coming out. So I'm just letting that for a few, a few seconds. Let that do its thing. I poured 138. Uh, everybody has, some people are anal about it and they're like, no, you need 70. Listen, this is my cup of coffee, okay? This is the way I do it, all right? If you wanna change it up and do it your way, you do it your way. I'm just letting you know. I'm just giving you an overall basics of how I do it and how this coffee tastes. Trust me, it tastes good. And everybody who has tasted my cup of coffee the way I do it at home here, you already know what's up. So let that go through. I'll go with a second pour, right? So bingo, nice and light. This is my second pour, 288 milliliters of water, letting that do its thing as it drops down there. Right. The over the the process, the whole thing from just, you know, making sure your, your beans are grinded, your water is ready. It should take you about like two or three minutes, you know, um, to just do your your cup of coffee. This is once you get the hang of it and you start getting used to, you know, how you're, you're doing it. it should technically take about two or three minutes. So just go here. Even. That's why the, the kettle spout, this little part right here is so important because it allows an even flow of water to come out, which is important um, if you wanna do this. So we'll let that sit for a few seconds. We're at 417 already uh, milliliters of water. Let's get my handy dandy Café Real cup. You could also purchase this on their website and on the link that I'm gonna have in the description of this video. Ooh. Let that go through, let that go through. Look at that. Oh, yes. Perfect. All right. 480. Like I said, if you want a cappuccino, you get this simple frother, froth it up, and put some uh, milk in here. So I just like to have it straight up like I'm gonna have it now. But this is pretty much what I use. This is how I go about my cup of coffee every single day. A lot of techniques. I learned from my guy Eduardo from Café Real. Um, other stuff, techniques, I found them from just looking it up online. But this is what I use. A scale is important. A burr grinder is important. And a, a, a kettle, a heated kettle is very important. If you at least got those three things, you're gonna be able to get the same cup of coffee tasting the same every single time. Oh, wow, it smells so good. Let's take this out. Cheers, my people, and everyone who's watching. Look at this. Oh my God, wow. Clear this up. Look at it. Tastes a little bit of everything. This is just straight up and tastes so good already. But you can add some sugar if you want, add some cinnamon. You can, you know, flex it out if you want to. Um, I do these cappuccinos as well that are really good and I use cinnamon. Um, but this is my cup of coffee. This is the way I do it. Um, and this is the way a lot of people that come visit my studio like it. When they come over, they, yo, John, let me get a cup of coffee. I got you, bro. I'll make it right now. So. This is my cup of coffee. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something and I hope you can try it, right? Let me know what you use. Do you make your cup of coffee in the morning? Like, do you like your coffee to taste the exact, the same way every single morning? What do you use? Do you do a pour over process? Do you just do a regular simple, just, you know, a normal K cup process? I think you should try this process and see the difference between them because there is a difference. Um, but anyways, I hope you like this video. I hope it was informative. You know, all the stuff I got right here, I'm gonna put it in the description of the video so you can purchase them and try them yourself, all right? And like with every single video, never settle with being good when you have always been meant to be great. See you in the next video, later.
If you haven't seen it yet, got the new sweater. This is our new merch that we got at ParaminoApparel.com. I'm gonna have the link in the description of this video. Show some support, click on that link, order a sweater, order a shirt, and just hit me up, DM me on my Instagrams, Paramino and Be Creative, Be Great. Let me know what you think about the sweater. But until the next one, see you later. Ah.